Intermediates, welcome to Thursday's workbook. Let's take a look and get started. Make sure you have your pencil ready. And we've been talking all week about skyline, grassline, skyline, grassline, plane line. My name starts at the skyline, it ends at the plane, I'm sorry, ends at the grassline, and then loops up to the plane line. Then my E, N, and N stay under the plane line. And let's draw that right here so you can definitely see the plane line. The plane line is just the middle line because an airplane flies below a sky. All right, here we go. This first page says to color the shapes different colors. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to color your triangles red, okay? That's right here. So any shapes that look like this, you're going to color red. You've got a triangle here, 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 here and here, okay? And then you're going to color the ovals. The ovals have to be yellow. So let's look for those ovals. You got one here. Now, if I miss any, I'm sure you'll be a better detective and find them. All right, there doesn't seem to be that many ovals in this one. All right, now let's go to circles. The circles are supposed to be colored green. So let's color the circles green. Now what you might wanna do is hit pause on your computer or your screen so you can stop to color. And then when you're ready, you keep going. Coloring pages sometimes take more time than the other pages, especially if you want to do a good job. All right, and then the next one is a square, and we're going to color those squares blue. Okay, there's a square right here, and I think that's about it. Then the next shape is a diamond. So the diamonds are gonna be black. Okay, let's look for some diamonds. They actually look like they're all down here in the path. Diamonds here, diamonds here, diamonds here. Good job. Oh, there's one right up here, the very tippy top. That's a big diamond and one over here. That one looks like a square, actually. And then the last shape we need to do is brown and that would be a rectangle. Rectangle, 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 rectangle. And all of these lines covering the line are rectangles. Excellent job. All right, the next page we've got is to trace the number six. So let's go. When we trace the number six, we start at the top, slide down and loop it in. Good job. It's pretty easy. You don't need me to explain how to trace a six when it's right there. Now let's take a look at the dots on the boots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Now we need to trace the six lines here. One stripe, two stripe, three stripe, four stripes, five stripes, Six stripes, excellent job. All right, the next one says to color six hats, color six socks, and color six pairs of shoes. So we're just gonna do one hat, two hats, three hats, four hats, five hats, and six hats. Then socks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and shoes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And what number comes after six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. The next page is a letter I. We're gonna trace from the skyline to the grass line. Give it a top. Skyline to grass line, give it a top and bottom. 
Skyline to grass line, give it a top and bottom. Skyline to the grass line, give it a top and bottom. Skyline to the grass line, give it a top at the skyline and a bottom at the grass line. Excellent. Here we have the opposites. Well, what's the opposite of day? That's right, night. What's the opposite of small? Big, good job. And the opposite of up the stairs is going down the stairs. Excellent job. And the last page. We're going to get this butterfly through the turtle and out under his chin. We've got to slide in, go around, and in and down and down and back up. We did that with our finger. Let's slide down and drag it. Slide down and loop up. Loop all the way up, drag it down, slide down more and go forward, slide up and drag it and out the arrow. Excellent job. I'll see you tomorrow for the next workbook. Bye.